I think most people when we wear a toboggan inside, it's kind of like more up. It's mm -hmm. more of a hat, mm -hmm. and yours is mm -hmm. as if you're going to jump in snow. This is my game wear, and this is what you wear at the game. <laughs> this hat, yeah. Yeah. So the toboggan is pulled down. I can't even hear you guys. <laughs> I know. Kevin McAllister, eighty-five. I saw the Instagram story about the toboggan before I got the chance to catch up on this podcast. And now that I'm hearing you guys talk about it, I can't keep it together. As a Canadian, I have never heard of a heard a toke, T-O-Q-E. I think it's toke. A toke called toboggan in my life. Watching people say toboggan so naturally in conversation was a trip and had me laughing so hard. Thank you for the completely random moment my, made my day. Yeah, a few things have polarized uh, the listeners as much as oh. this discussion. I don't think anything has. But I it think got it's pretty heated. Let's uh, go versus uh, hello. Folks. Yeah, that was the last thing that uh, people have strong. Maybe that was about. just fun. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of fun. I know, but, but you, I'm saying is this one getting more serious? This one got pretty serious. As serious as a discussion about <laughs> what to call a hat can be. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I've never heard of toke. I hadn't either. I only have heard of toke through. Uh, Dusty Slay's wife, Hannah, who's Canadian. I heard her call oh, okay. it that once. But I, you know, who's calling yeah. it that in real you life? You didn't say anything? No, nah, I let it slide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used context clues. I figured out what she was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, generally speaking, it seemed like people in the South call it toboggan. Yeah. People in Canada call it a toke. And the rest of the U.S. calls it a beanie. Yeah. But people have sent me articles saying there's different variations. Everything's technically a beanie. Yeah, and then a, a toboggan is a type of beanie, and there's a lot of oh. a lot of different things: knit cap, sock cap, stocking cap. Yeah, stocking. But cap. the poll we did, beanie dominated because I think most. Of That's the, what everybody does. Everybody calls it a beanie. I like that. There's a lot of toboggans. Yeah, that does make me feel good. Yeah, but people in Canada were pretty fired up about it, calling it to, toboggan. So if you're listening, it's 437 votes for toboggan. 1,844 votes for Beanie, and then Toke came in last at 216 votes. Kind of probably read those wrong. <laughs> if you're, for people listening at home, if you're in suspense, you just did, <laughs> you did the middle first, and then you went first place in the middle, and then just, who cares, 216 at the bottom. <laughs> I mean, like, if, I mean, I mean, it's the ABC. That's with the yeah, with big arm. We got coming in third place. We have Tope two sixteen, Toboggan four thirty seven, Beanie eighteen forty. Yeah. yeah, that would have been the way to do it for sure. Now, you read it maybe the least exciting way you yeah. could read it. Honestly, uh, I don't know if you could pick a worse way because even if you, yeah, there, yeah. there couldn't be. That's the uh, only way that's not good is to go 437, 1844 second, and 216 at the end. Uh, there's. I mean, all right. Well, all right. And I didn't even think anything about it when you said it last week because that's what I call no. it. Toboggan. Yeah. I call it a beanie, but I hear toboggan enough that I don't even think about it. Did Who started the poll? Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people were so fired up about it yeah. that I did the poll, and that really got people fired up. <laughs> yeah. I love the read the, the different regional terms. They're really funny to me. I had a buddy in college from Wisconsin, and he one day he was like, I got to fill up my water bottle with the bubbler real quick. And yeah. I was like, what are you talking That's about? That's crazy. Yeah. The water fountain. Bubbler. It was a bubbler. I've never heard and of And where is he from? Uh, Mil uh, Milwaukee. Yeah. yeah. In Wisconsin. Yeah. I might have just been Is that helped. Milwaukee, is that? <laughs> uh the bubbler a bubbler yeah a very small little region in that in that part of the country that calls it a bubbler most of the country calls it a drinking fountain mm. i've always called water. it i've always called it a water fountain i call it a water fountain yeah water fountain because that's what it is you know uh it's because it gives you well you drink out of it though too not always if you're filling up a water bottle out of it well, you're going to drink eventually it should be eventually <laughs> a drinking fountain. That's fair. <laughs> eventually a drinking yeah. fountain. Watering your plants. Well, I mean, if you're like a nut job, you can take your plants up there and you, you, you're staying in line with a pot. Like, that's what you would be. You'd be in there's a line. 
of kids just waiting for the turns and you're like four back and you got just a plot or just a pot and then you just set it up there and just turn it on and it doesn't you gotta you gotta bend it over a little bit because the stream's not high enough you get hit with some of those streams oh, yeah. i miss the little turn one was always good but man you ever get you bend down and you get hit right in the oh yeah forehead yeah they don't have the it eye. calibrated right yeah and if you don't know, and then some of them, like, no water comes out, and you just everybody's mouth's mm-hmm. just on it. It's coming out just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you just, and kids will just, you, your mouth just goes on it. Mm-hmm. It is very funny to be like it will, when it just hits you right in the face. Because you're not even prepared for it. I just remember being in line in school, and it was just the prime chance to kick some, like, kick someone while they're doing it. What? <laughs> I got kicked a lot. Yeah, I, was yeah. gonna say, I was gonna say there's no way you were doing it. You were getting kicked while you're. No, drinking. think about it. It was just me. Yeah, uh, that's your most most vulnerable position. You never saw that. That never happened. Uh, just I don't. Boys you know, like to kick each other. I think we grew up in different times. I don't think I was around. Out of water fountains were just like. <laughs> I had segregated water yeah, fountains. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you if you're here for what I do for the the aspect of it being clean or the ac- of this not being heavy and not being whatever divisive or political like that kind of stuff is that's the idea that I want to make with stuff. You're someone that is just what I mean. You're you're a cow on the like just boo, boo, look at the butt in front of you and just walk <laughs> walk 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 until it's your turn to be slaughtered <laughs> and then. You know, and I'm, I'm a cow that sticks his head up and goes, hey, I don't think we're going. Yeah, yeah. If we all turned and moved and went the other way, yeah. we would okay. go out. Hello, folks. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. I'm Nate Bargetzi, Aaron Weber. We solved that problem. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, Brian's here. Brian's here. He's, you know. (laughs) It's not bad. That was awesome. Not bad. Bates, Brian Bates here. Uh, Yeah, I have to apologize because people, I got in a lot of trouble by everybody. That I was uh, mean. I didn't mean to go on a big cutting. I mean, I did, I guess. <laughs> I was, it's all coming out of, I was just trying to be funny, making fun of you. Uh, and it got, and, pe- and people took it too real. Please do an episode on the Pepsi Jet. Finally, you were robbed at the Grammys. You're easily one of the best in the game and deserve that win. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah. I'd say the Kid Nurse, 1970. I agree, Nate is one of the best in the game. But to win a Grammy, you have to be the best in the game, and the Grammys determine he is not. So. Oh, well, oh my good God. night. <laughs> yeah. So much for that kindness yeah. you're showing, Nate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for all the, as I'm gonna, I like that clip pulled aside. For all the Nate, you're too mean to Brian, and you know, uh, uh, Christina Barga. I couldn't help but notice that when we have another penguin situation on our hands, the way Nate and Brad Crumbs say bingles sounds like it's spelled bingles, B-I-N-G-L-E-S. I'd be curious to see what Aaron Land has to say about this. I'd be pr- I would bet he pronounces it. How do you pronounce it? Bangles. Bangles. That's how you say Cincinnati Bangles? Yeah. Since I actually sided with him in the penguin pronunciation, I find it funny to hear it pronounced bingles. As if it rhymes with Pringles. I know this whole comment sounds like a Dr. Seuss book, so my apologies in advance for making Nate read this. Uh, Yeah, Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, I've always said Bengals. Mm -hmm. Said Bengals. What did you say? Bengals. So you say it like the band, the Bengals. I say it the way everybody I've ever met in my entire life says it. You know what I mean? (laughs) Until now. Until now, yeah. I mean, does it bother you that you're – most people don't say it that way. No, Do you notice not, that? Are you aware of it? No, I think when they all say it, like we say it, I don't. We don't. We're not around a bunch of people get, that can get into Notre Dame. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm talking about on ESPN. They go tonight's matchup: the Cincinnati Bengals. They don't say anything. What do you think? I just follow them around and go. I think I'm saying it wrong. I think they're saying it wrong. 
Okay. Wait, are you protected of the South or are you not protected of the South? <laughs> Who are you defending here? That's a good point. I've never noticed it. I never oh, noticed really? it either. The more we talk about it, the more I'm thinking Bengals, like Bengals. Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals. Now I'm saying I'm, it's wrong in my head, and I'm like, yeah. I can't get it out. Cincinnati, and he's from Connecticut. That's ESPN territory. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. We right invented here in how to say it. Yeah. Bengals. And how do you say it? I say bangles, like the bangs on your hair. Bangles. But like the band, the bangles. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny reference. I would yeah. like to say. Yeah. But I mean, they spell it differently. Both ways that bangles, the way we say it is B-I, the way you say it is B-A. Mm-hmm. No one's saying be bangles, bay, bay, be, be, bangles. She nailed bangles, it though. This is bangles, the exact. Bangles, this is the exact bangles. argument we had about penguins. Yeah. <laughs> so we obviously Bates. I think uh, everybody knows uh, this is Monday the something twentieth, twenty first, twenty first. Yeah. First day of spring, all that stuff. Uh, and Bates uh, should be their babies should be coming. They're at the hospital. They're now. at the hospital yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, so it could be happening right now. We don't know where, if we get a live update, we'll let you know. Uh, but so yeah, next time you guys will see Bates, he will be a father. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Mm. Kelly swallows. If we don't get a split screen of the rock bare chest with his baby and baby Bates on bare chest breakfast, I will not feel my time dedicated to this podcast was even worth it. Look at that. There it is. There it is. That's so, look, I mean, good <laughs> night. The difference. Which one is which again? Yeah. Yeah. Bates needs to get, uh, I think it's the first time I've ever seen Bates with his shirt off. And I don't care for it. <laughs> he needs to get that tattoo the Rock has. Or maybe just pull that blanket up a little higher. Uh, yeah. If you're taking a picture, I don't know. <laughs> you're like, just maybe, you know, no one's in there. No one's in the room. And they go, maybe just pull, you just, know. Just a half an inch. Just a little pull bit. Pull it up. Yeah. I love how there's not a blanket in the left one. Yeah, not I mean, a blanket at all. I mean, the rock shows less nipple than Bates does, and we'd <laughs> rather see the rocks. So, <laughs> look at his Bates, very cute. Yeah, though. that's cool. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the Nate Land Podcast, as always, uh, uh, Aaron Weber, and look who's back. Mm. Hello, Brian, folks. baby Bates. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the show. Thank you. Baby's good. She's great. She's under the table right now, <laughs> and he's just rocking her with her foot like he just. She, uh, she's doing real good, guys. She's in the car, but it's a uh, you know cool it's day. a little chilly day, so I don't think we can. I think we can leave the windows up. Uh, hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. Sitting here with Dusty Slay, uh, Aaron Weber, and a new guest with breakfast, little breakfast. Hello, Eleanor. folks. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hello. We got a little little visitor. <laughs> About a, it was a, roughly a year ago. It was exactly a year ago today that I revealed it. Yeah. Uh, in the record, November first when we recorded. Yeah. It, and uh, came out a few days later. But yeah. Yeah. One year ago, I told you guys I was having my wife was having a baby, yeah. and there she is. Yeah. Here we are. I still don't believe it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at you. Good size. <laughs> She's getting big. Uh, so, yeah. She's doing great. She's doing great. We wanted Eleanor to say hi to everybody. Uh, the headphones are just for fun. So she yeah, yeah. She doesn't need them. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> people to go. She was born with those headphones on. Uh, all right. All right. We're passing her off to Abigail. Uh, Eleanor, see what happened. Put her out back in the car. <laughs> and okay. Bye, honey. Uh, what if it was a whole... He has no wife, no baby. And we're just we're just going through it, you know. <laughs> Got to keep the charade going. Got to keep the charade going. Nate paid to have a baby here. That's my yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah. You know who didn't hurt himself? It's uh, Chase, my merch, uh, <clears throat> my, the, the, the guy that sells merch. Which, by the way, we were saying <clears throat> uh, this is like a hold on. <clears throat> uh, my voice. I think it's still the same. So. Uh, we did, so Chase, so people think, a lot of people think Chase is my son. Like, so if you see, oh, if you really? go see Chase, if you go see the, 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 the guy that sells merch, he's 22, I think he's never heard of the South Beach diet. I don't like, it's like, he's like so young and, but a lot of people, they think, because he, I mean, you look at him, he kind of looks like me. Uh, 
which is very hilarious to think that of all the personal stuff I talk about on stage, I just wouldn't talk about my 23 year old son. <laughs> like, I, I mean, like I talk about my dad, my parents, I, I talk about my brother, sister, my wife, my daughter. And I just never <laughs> mention like that. That's by the way, I've have a 23 year old son that we just kind of keep on the back burner. Wouldn't it be great if he was just telling people that as he sold them? Yeah, merch? well, people think it's he him. Just fueled it, the rumor. So if you, but we wanted we had he 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 just always laughs at the fact that people say that to him. Mm -hmm. But if you go buy merch, I'm not telling you. You look, you don't have to. I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. If you're buying merch, definitely bring up like, oh, you're Nate's son, right? Like that he never talks about. Oh, just yeah. say that to him constantly. Even if you don't buy merch, maybe just go buy him, say something. <laughs> that we're going to just see how long it takes till he will come back to me. Don't make it. Don't say you heard it on the podcast. Don't make mm -hmm. it a big deal. Just be like, no, you heard. You know, that's what there's like rumors online. <laughs> maybe there's a Reddit. He goes that yeah. everybody just said that you're his son that he doesn't talk about. And then just kind of move on about your day. Yeah, and I want to see when he will eventually go. And like, if he figures out, like, how why are they? It's becoming more aggressive. It's becoming a problem. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, right. yeah. Maybe yeah. people take a picture with him. Hashtag Chase Bargatze. Chase Bargatze. Yeah, get it yeah. going. Yeah. 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 Uh, Chase, Nate's boy. Just yell at <laughs> yeah. You can yell it as Nate's you walk boy. by. Nate's boy. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. I saw a comment on Reddit that said, can somebody post a picture of Nate's 23-year-old son? Yeah. And somebody who didn't listen to the podcast was like, nah, dude, we should respect his privacy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're like, don't do this. Like, you don't yeah. need to do this to Nate's yeah. kid. Yeah. yeah, guys, don't. You know? It's crossing the line, guys. You guys, you crossed the line. My wife doesn't even know about him. So, <laughs> too far. We're going to talk. I don't know, kind of out of it. I was like, yeah, we're already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can, I, can I ask y'all something that made me think yeah. of it, that electric e-bikes? Have you seen this debate going on online? We're a little late to the game, but there's a big debate going on. Of, in the United States, do you think that there are more wheels or doors in the in the whole country? If you had add up all bikes, we, including and bikes, including everything. Motorcycles, yeah. Everything in general. More wheels or doors? I think doors. more doors. You think there are more doors? 100%. More there's, doors. More, there's more doors. <laughs> think about some, one person's house. There's th three times the doors versus cars they have. Okay. Every person. I think you have a lot more wheels in this house than you're thinking of. Well, what wheels are you? I mean, like. Uh, well, you got the wheels. You got your cars. You got yeah. uh, office chairs. It's four. Two wheels cars. The... So we have eight wheels. Okay. We got that electric bike, 10 wheels. There you go. Lars got a bike, 12 wheels. Yeah. Lawnmower or something out Harper's there, probably. Got bike. It's got I mean, wheels. Yeah. Think about all the wheels on uh, Harper's toys. You got Lego yeah. wheels. Yeah. You got all these chairs here. That's. Uh, Are we counting gears too? Do oh, gears count as well? Wheels? This is also this is also depends upon how you how you define uh, wheels and doors. I already don't. <laughs> Who, where's this mad. debate happening? It's happening all over Twitter. It's all over really? social media. Oh yeah, it was the talk of the town a few weeks ago. Oh. I'm just late to the game. Here. <laughs> yeah. I just want I to would, hear what y'all thought. It would be. I thought it was obviously wheels. Oh no, no. I think if you you're you're having to like pull a lot of strings to make all these wheels beat the doors. I don't know. The doors come out of the gate. I mean, you just think about like, dude. There's doors. There's two doors here in just this room: the bathroom door and the way to get out. Okay. So it's like you, you have so many doors. That now you're you're gonna there's, be there's twelve there's twelve wheels in there's here. fifteen wheels in these in these chairs the three of us are sitting on yeah that but that's what I mean so you so, the end of this podcast maybe twelve yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah so far we, so yeah. it's that's just saying but you're having to literally go chase down every wheel to be doors so it's like yeah well I don't think in the scenario you have to collect all of them in the country this is just a you know I know but I don't think you can even count all the like there's a Michael Jordan car over there that has four wheels on it so there you go like, there you okay. go. So that's what I mean. So the the, the argument kind of gets to like it's it seems to me like it's a will person trying to beat a door person, and the door people have them beat clearly, and the will person's like, okay, it's but cheating. I didn't. You forgot I didn't people. mention that your your chair that rolls back and forth. That's for you. Like, okay, dude. All right. Yeah. All right. I guess. Yeah. I guess if you add that, oh, there's a lawnmower. You're like, all right. So you're not talking about obviously what people think of wheels. Yeah. When you say just wheels, yeah. no one's even going to think. Lawnmower, don't forget yeah. lawn. You know. Yeah, well, that that's why it's a fun hypothetical. Look at all the hotels, hotels in Vegas. Oh yeah, did you forget this guy's Hot Wheel collection? Did you yeah. forget that? A Lego makes millions I mean, of toy think wheels about a, hotel, a year. Though, how I many am... doors? There's there's multiple doors in every hotel, and these Vegas hotels have 
thirty thousand do- I don't know how many rooms they got. <laughs> but each one of those each one of those doors <laughs> yeah, 30, has a roller chair behind it. Yeah. That is true. There's a, there's an office chair in every in every room. This wheel thing is in You got to think you yeah. got to think that every car wheel wheels win cars. So there you yeah. go. There's always going to be Four at wheels. most well, it's a cars. tie. At well, most it's a tie. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's neutral. No, because a lot of cars only have two doors. Yeah. But they all have at least four and wheels. And a motorcycle doesn't have a door. There you go. I just think wheels wins in a landslide. No, I think so. I would I just look at it as like that's fine. Wheels might win. But the time it's going to take you to figure out how many dumb wheels you're going to make up that's going to beat doors. Like, I'm already, I got so much money in the door world that I don't even, you're going to be tired. You barely make it to the <laughs> debate center because you'll be just worn out of just being like, wheel, there's a wheel, wheel. You just, you know, you're like Jared Leto, just in character, wheel, wheel, wheel. There's one wheel. Yeah. You know, that's what I think. All right. I mean, but it's good. Good things. Fun. Stuff's getting solved on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right. Hey, Elizabeth, if you're thinking of doors versus wheels, here we go. Then you have to consider all doors like kitchen cabinets, fridge doors, appliance doors, dollhouse doors, et cetera. Fine. You're still fine with it. Yeah, that's all part of it. That's all part of it. Those are I, all, we'll so, count all those as doors. Yeah, I still think I, wheels wins. Well, I think there's, you're going to spend a lot of time arguing arguing about wheels more than doors. So I think I would spend, it would be a lot of time of going like, come on, man, that's a wheel. It moves in a wheel, and you're like, okay. Because that's what, when I said the other doors, I go, what about these cabinets or these doors? And you go, all right, that's fine. Just make those doors. Yeah, you count said those. It, yeah, you said it like the same way I'm saying about wheels. You're like, yeah, yeah, I'll count that. We have a, you know. Count them all. All right. <laughs> uh, there's no way to find. Is there a real answer to it? I think the fact that Lego makes mil, hundred million wheels a year, yeah, has to make them a, a favorite. Has yeah, to so, make but wheels. A there, is there a way to get to the? No, that's kind of the fun of it. Is that yeah, it's just a thought no experiment. Yeah. There's no real answer. What if you guys actually like put this effort towards like jobs and creating stuff? <laughs> like, do you think that would be? What if you did that? You know what I mean? There's no answer to it. So what's the point of uh, even talking about it? It'd be a lot less fun. It's fun to... How much do y'all not have to do that you like to... Did you come up with this? No, he's talking like, like I'm in a group that came up. Yeah, like that you <laughs> like to... De- class? You debate this, and then you're like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you debate something that can't be like solved. What was the other one that you did that, that you uh, said earlier? Joey Chestnut versus you yeah, yeah. Bolt. Like that one's like that's a fun one. That's a fun one, but it doesn't lead into just mindlessly. I just look into the first one that you're like, well, a nut is a technically will you can will it, and then you're like, all right, dude, I can't. You're just throwing stuff out of my out of everything. You're like my aunt, my aunt's got a fake knee. There's a will in there that, and I'm like, oh god. So she's in the house, and you're like, yeah, she lives downstairs. Uh, Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> it also does this. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Know that. <laughs> this is the Grammy part. Here's my, here's my uh, if you can, I don't know if you can see it close. It's uh, the, uh, they give you a, a nominee medal. And so I got this sent to me uh, a couple weeks ago. But, nice. So I will have always have this. Which is that's awesome, cool. man. Grammy nominee. And what did they tell you? I mean, that's that's a line that's you're going to be introduced that way forever. Grammy. <laughs> Gram- <laughs> For the rest of my life. Yeah. I'm a Grammy nominee. Grammy nominated comedian. You look like Kramer with his motorcycle helmet. Yeah, yeah. They, I'll be honest, wearing this helmet when I, uh, when I did this. Uh, well, let's go ahead and bring uh, my wife in. Uh, uh, Laura Bargetzi. All right. Uh, first time on the long time. Uh, no, what do I want to say the opposite? Uh, first time caller, long time <laughs> listener. <laughs> and no, no, I always looked at the other way. I always want to call into a place and go, uh, first time <laughs> listener, long time caller, <laughs> the opposite. Yeah. You just called in. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is the helmet I wore. Uh, balled it at Blizzards in Charleston, West Virginia. <laughs> so we went. I'm the, sorry, I don't want to get ahead of you. This was all your idea. So this was my idea. 
<clears throat> so wearing wearing the helmet was uh, it, it's so they were going to do. I might take it off because I can't. <laughs> no, please it. leave it on. Oh, leave it on. <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> yeah. So this was my idea, <laughs> and I would say take it off. Uh, well, it's already on. Okay. So. <laughs> And I, mean, I feel protected. <laughs> I think this is, you're supposed to take this off, but I think it looks cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't be bothered. I'm a Grammy non- nominee now, dude. I can't even go out in public, so I'll wear this. I'll be honest with you, wearing this, I think if if I'm not a comedian, I could wear this on the red carpet and they would just be like, oh yeah, that's what someone's doing. He's making a statement. I mean, there's like, <clears throat> yeah, I would punk. fit in. This wear, If I wore this helmet on the red carpet, it would, I would have been like, I don't know if they would have talked about me. They would have been, there's so many other people. They would have never mentioned it. They'd been like, oh, that one guy wore a helmet. They're like, I, I mean, how many helmets do people wear every yeah. year to the Grammys? 30, 40? Yeah. I forgot to mention, when I got home, we got home to the hospital. I had to go pick up some medicine. We'd been in the hospital for four days. I was like, why do I smell gas? The squirrels had bitten through my gas line again. Again. Wow. Never got to the bottom of this. Apparently not. What'd you do to get rid of them? We did everything people su- suggested. Put out fake snakes. We put out mothballs. We spray. I'm back to spraying now. This yeah. rodent repellent. But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to build a garage because it's gonna cost me more. Yeah, the car repairs. I mean, just move. I've never. I don't know. I just never. It's so funny to never have this, and you are getting a full blown yeah, attack. This is such a big problem. It's such a big problem. Did you order fake snakes on Amazon or something? How we did? did. It? Okay, yeah. and you laid those out all over around the car. We, we've got like two: one by our car and one by our dad's car. And her dad's like moving it now. Yeah, thinks you know the snake. He thinks the squirrels are onto it, so yeah. he's moving it. But he doesn't tell anybody, so yeah. I'll just be going to the mailbox <laughs> and I just jump out of my skin because <laughs> her dad's moved it. <laughs> well, then y'all are gonna get you're gonna have a real snake one day and be like, "Come on," and then grab it. I know. Then, yeah, like, oh. we're attracting snakes because they're yeah. like, "Oh, there's snakes." Just they like, go, hey. you know, I tell you where everybody's cool if you're a snake. <laughs> the old Bates house. <laughs> yeah, they're invited. They yeah, they don't care. They love it. We just had a squirrel attack our car wires as well. Ooh. Ooh. My dad is a mechanic, and he said to use original scent Irish Spring bars of soap. Put it in a sock and fasten it up underneath the car, and it works. Oh, you okay. try that? Wow. I haven't yet, but I will. Uh, do Irish Spring bar of soap. Put it in. It's always like so much do that? extra stuff. Yeah. It's like you want it to be like, all right, just get soap, and you're like, all right, just throw it in the car or something. It's like, no, 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 no. You got to get a sock that you're fine getting rid of, <laughs> and then you got to fasten it up underneath the car. And Special I guess, scent, Irish speak? No, original scent. Do you have to then move it? Like you have to before you go out there, get it out, and then always go back and forth. I don't. I don't know. I like don't, when everybody goes to your car, you got to un- – <laughs> did you mind popping that tr- hood? And then you just untie your sock and soap. And what have does to it, explain that. Everybody. What does it mean it works? It keeps the squirrels away yeah. or they get poisoned yeah. when no, they eat it? No, keeps them away. Oh. Yeah. And it gets yeah. clean. Because they, they, apparently squirrels are attacking uh, her and – Bates's car <laughs> on a regular basis. <laughs> no one else has heard any about this ever. But me and Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann and Bates have got a wild squirrel thing going on. <laughs> uh, Lauren Watson to get rid of the squirrels. There's more squirrel wow. stuff. <laughs> Put a flashing radio clock out there and let it play 24 seven. We got rid of squirrels and garden critters this way. You can also sprinkle human hair and they smell it and stay away. Yeah, keeps.com. Is that right? Uh, Yeah, 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 Brian can't afford it. No, like he's like, I don't know, I can't just throw hair out there. I'd rather have the squirrels. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Why is it a radio clock? I don't know. Hair works to put human hair just wow. Is is, uh, is Lauren here? Yeah, Lauren. Y'all know Lauren, dude. All right. Y'all, y'all know all of you. You're like, y'all didn't give them, no one of them got tickets. You're like, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the flashing red clock, I think, just, I don't know, is a, you know, if you want to you know. You have to plug it if in. If you're letting the squirrels know you're white trash, <laughs> you're like, uh, well, how are they going to know if I don't have a car out there? You're like, well, put a yeah. flashing radio clock and let it play the whole time. That kind of lets everybody know what's up at your house. <laughs> Don't bother breaking in. There ain't much in here. We got our, we got the, our, all our expenses are out in the yard with our flashing radio clock that keeps the squirrels away. You have a little squirrel update. I have a lot of squirrel updates. Since I last talked about it, they've they've hit my car twice. Twice. They might listen. <laughs> I light came on my car. This is just like. Two weeks ago, and then I took it in the shop, and they're like, "Yep, squirrels bit through your fuel line, and we're gonna, f- you know, they fixed it or whatever." It was in the shop for a week. I bring it home, like a week later, that light comes back on. I was like, "They didn't fix it," so I'm taking it back over there and have them fix it. I take it back over there, and they're like, "No, no, mm-hmm. they did it again. It's happened just since that." So twice in the last three weeks, I've had my car in the shop for these rodents. <laughs> Biting, biting through the line. If so, I didn't know your wife, I'd think you lived in the complete wilderness. Yeah. I know. That's what everybody thinks. The squirrels, the the pole cats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have so many critters. We have a groundhog, uh, oh, snake of the day. Oh, so then so then I go, uh, oh, there's the, uh, that's the. You got it. Oh. That's the mechanics. Took a picture of it, showed the line. <laughs> it tore being, through that being thing. Bit man. Through. What's the what are the, the squirrels playing? I don't know. Do you think they can smell weakness? <laughs> <laughs> and they just <laughs> I mean, these like I don't even know what the squirrel was trying to get. That seems malicious. It yeah. does seem like there's something in the lines like, that what have you that, been up to that they like. There? So then my father in law is very stressed about it. He has nothing else going on. So he's like, I'm gonna I, I already put out a fake snake fake owl but now the squirrels just think they're friends so they're like that didn't work yeah. so my father-in-law like i'm gonna get another fake snake but he doesn't know how to order stuff online or something so yeah. he went to phillips toy mart and just bought a toy snake and put it out in our driveway that's what that's what that other was yeah so <laughs> that's what we're using now to deter i thought it was real the I'll squirrels be with you. okay yeah. well i, I guess like, it wow. works it's pretty good well maybe it's a little over dramatic and that's a good thing maybe so yeah. are y'all gonna move it around every now and again I mean, right now I have two snakes under my car and a bar of soap. Because uh, someone suggested on the podcast the Irish Spring original yes. soap. And they said put it in a sock and fasten your car. I don't know how to do that. So I just put a bar of soap under my car. Yeah. But it's raining today. So when I get home. The driveway's clean. Clean. Yeah. yeah. You might think about getting a real snake. Well, yeah. You just found You said you had one? I saw one the other day in our yard. Yeah. There you go. Did you talk to him and ask him? <laughs> If he was available for yeah. parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. what would... wild, man. Yeah. So does anybody, like your neighbors, no one of you ever asked any of these people? Yeah, I mean, I put it on the neighborhood Facebook thing, and tons of people commented, like, it's a real problem. Now, most people have wow. garages, and I guess we're going to have to do that, yeah. but that's, a, that's not a quick fix. Yeah. Well, it's good that they're not just going after you. No, it's you a know, it's that, a it's a big thing in our neighborhood. Okay. That would make me feel better. Yeah. Jared Robertson, just watched The Greatest Average American. I gotta know who put syrup in the waffle maker. And I'll tell you who, Breakfast Bates over here. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they probably could have guessed that. <laughs> Does it not make sense? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you do, you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is all all day long. <laughs> It was, yeah. Doesn't he actually really, made me sound better than it really was. <laughs> yeah. It was worse than, yeah. I was trying to be like, you know, let's show a little class. Yeah. You know? There was a countdown clock, so I could see exactly when things were about to go bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just the line. You know, like, if all of us were in line behind Brian, we would all be like, you almost want to see it. And you'd expect it. You're like, well, let's all go watch. But when people don't know, it's a lot. It's a lot for people. And then he just ruins everybody's breakfast for the rest of the day. Got down there early. He's got his little MTSU shirt on, shorts. <laughs> he's in clothes that you're like, did he sleep in them? Probably. I don't know. You want to hear a crazy story? It yeah. happened this weekend. So we have a buddy of ours, Steve Byrne, stand-up yeah. comedian who lives yeah. here in Nashville. Yeah. Good friend. He was on the road in Fort Wayne, Indiana, 
with with Joe Gatto. They went to an antique store, and he texted me a picture of this from the antique store. It's a baseball glove with the name Aaron Weber on it, Are you written serious? with a sharpie. <laughs> and he sends it to me as a joke, and he says, "Did you leave behind a baseball glove in Fort Wayne, Indiana?" And I said, "No." So I took that picture. I sent it to my parents. Just to let them know, hey, isn't this funny? My mom goes, that's my handwriting. She used oh, to write our wow. names on all the gloves with a Sharpie like that. So that's yeah. my mom wrote my name on the Sharpie. And my dad goes, that's 100% your glove. No way. So oh, we don't know good. what Crazy. happened, but my childhood baseball glove ended up in an antique store in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which we've never lived there. Yeah. And Steve Byrne happened to be in that store and saw it. Did he buy it? When I told him about this, he had already left, and he yeah. tried to go back the next day, and they were closed. But oh. we're, we got to find a way to go to yeah. go get I'm, it. I I'm in like Indiana too- in June. I'll ch- I'll get it for you. Are you in Fort Wayne? Yeah, close. Oh, dude. Yeah. Hopefully nobody yeah. that glove nobody <laughs> buys it. <laughs> you got to call them and say, "I want that." I bet there's a yeah. folk that yeah. lives there to go get it for you. There yeah. might be. Yeah. Yeah. If someone's there. Is someone? What What is the name of this place? I need to find that out too. Uh, so your glove is a good way to find all the information. Yeah. I mean, it may not be. Uh, there. It's a pretty hot I, commodity. I, you you know? literally know everything. <laughs> you found a glove from when you were a kid in a different city. Well, what's the name? So people maybe go grab it. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't did really did look your parents? Up. Did they have like yard sales and stuff? We the, here's the best guess my mom could come up with is that when they the last time they moved. They had a box somewhere that just accidentally got left behind. And then this got donated to Goodwill or something mm. like that. And it just made its way to, we've never been to Fort Wayne. We've never lived there. Somehow made its way up there to an antique store. Do you have any memories with this glove? Uh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. remember this glove specifically. Oh, wow. Now that, now that I was like, oh, I did have a mag. MAG on it. I just thought it was the craziest coincidence. You're wearing it and you're asking, like, hey, why do we have to wear cotton on these summer days? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Was it Seinfeld where they. Oh, the baseball uniforms? Yeah, is it 100% too hot? Cotton? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Too hot. Polyester? No, polyester is too hot. Yeah, uh, and they switched yeah. cotton? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, polyester. yeah, polyester. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, well, if you get the name of it, maybe in a couple weeks you can let the audience know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll grab it for Fort Wayne, an antique store in Fort yeah. Wayne. Yeah, if it's an antique store, they're probably like, wow, is this some ancient glove? Yeah. I mean, why else would it? Yeah, you got to be careful how much you want it because then they'll like jack the price up. No, they <laughs> might. I would pay. You know, I wouldn't have even paid. Like if somebody showed it to me, I don't know. The, just this this whole story was so crazy. Oh, yeah. Like, do you want the would, glove back or do you want it to? I'd like it to round off the story. Yeah. Like the yeah. fact that Steve was there and found it. We had just exchanged numbers. It was like a yeah. crazy coincidence yeah. that he was there and saw this. Yeah. It'd be fun to have it on the table and talk about it. Yeah. I would have yeah. loved it to. It would be. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, get it, it, we out. can put it yeah. up. We'll, yeah. we'll put it up here. Yeah, we yeah. got to. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I make like it happen. That. I will. I will find it, yeah. and yeah. we'll end the story in a good way. Yeah, and I believe you with Planet Fitness and that other thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Can before we get into it, can I ask the glove update? Yeah, Steve Byrne got the glove. He brought it to me. I have it. I have my childhood baseball glove back. Wow. Where is it? It's it's at my house right now. I mean. How do you? How would you not bring it? Yeah, because I came. I, fl- I was in Denver this morning. And I yeah. came straight here, so I didn't get a chance to grab but it. But how? Then why would we even? Why would we bring it up? I don't just, think no. Brian knew oh. that I didn't. Didn't have. Oh. It. Well, I just so many people have asked. It is. Yeah, yeah and we good, said it's good yeah, to follow yeah. up. We were going to update yeah. the next episode. Yeah, Two yeah, weeks from now, true. I'll have it. Oh God, I don't even <laughs> care. <laughs> I don't even. I will. I'm not even impressed with the story. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a great story. <laughs> Now, a lot of people have commented that it was great till they realized you and your entire family went to school in Indiana, very close to where this was. Yeah, but I didn't bring my baseball glove from when I was eight to college. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it, that's not where it was from. Maybe your brother at Purdue or? He took an eight-year-old's baseball glove <laughs> to college. All right. It's a, It's definitely a crazy, yeah, it's a crazy story. Mm-hmm. I don't say you don't bring the glove. <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't. I mean, like, I, didn't I don't have a chance, like a dude. plant. Just a, if you think about a show that we're creating, yeah. we're creating a show. I came straight for the airport, dude. To go, you know, uh, it's like uh, I got a tattoo uh, with Nate Land on it. Wow, dude, can we see it? I'd rather not. Th- <laughs> I'd rather not show you. Oh, okay. All right, but I'm glad. Fine. I'm glad we said that because I I'm still getting a lot of messages, people offering to go grab it for me. Okay, and I need everyone to know it's been grabbed. He has. It's it. back in my hands. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 
Kind yeah. of, yeah. yeah. Let me go grab it from Aaron's house. If, if people are listening, I think that would be great if people could go actually. So maybe we could see it before uh, a month later. Oh, that's right. Last day of the podcast. Oh, I've, here's that glove. Last Remember that story? <laughs> Steve Byrne went through all that trouble and you just, you know. Oh, can I? While we're on the topic of this, just to, just to put an end to this story, I know we're past the point of caring. But I've got – this is the baseball glove. Oh, wow. It's been brought back to me. Yeah. I appreciate everybody. I'm still getting messages asking to go pick we it up for me. We have the glove. People say it doesn't even exist. It is a real glove. It's in Nate's hand right now. It's it's a mag. It's a real not good glove. <laughs> but, is it good? No, that's uh, good it's glove. all right. It's definitely – it's it's lived in. Yeah. Put a lot right. of – 1997. Well, I graduated high school. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, it's a good glove. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, got it back. So I've got it back. Thank you, Steve Byrne, for doing that. Thank you, everybody, yeah. for reaching out and asking yeah. about it. Thanks for bringing it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> guys, thanks, everybody. I did win uh, the lottery. Uh, oh, wow. Do you have your little thing to show? Oh, I didn't think I should. I don't know why I should bring it. But I guess y'all want to see it. <laughs> Need to come. I did sell peanut butter for 10 years, so oh. I know a little bit about it. Wait, what? Yes. Well, yeah. yeah Wait, did. you've talked about this. Yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah. I, uh, it's, uh, I knew that's true. Yeah. So, you know, what do you think about it? You I sold think, it. You sold peanut butter? Door yeah. to door? No, man. I didn't go door to door. So. <laughs> yeah. When in your what life, are you a lunatic? Have you, have you ever seen the peanut butter guy coming door? To it's door? from a different time, man. I don't know if that <laughs> used to happen. Yeah, I, 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 Here comes yeah. the Jeff. Man. How old do you yeah. think I am? Yeah. Would, would you go, milk man? You had the peanut butter. You the milk, guy. It was you and the milkman. Is it like UPS FedEx now? Where yeah, it's like y'all yeah, would we, see each other. And yeah, then hey, you Tom. Eat, yeah, and you're, <laughs> y'all go eat, and you're like, "That's cool, man." Y'all are friends in real life, though. You're like, "Yeah, yeah." Dude. I go, "That's cool, man." Yeah, with him, but the I yeah. was Jeff, the peanut. Peter Pan guy was not friends. With him. Not <laughs> friends. No, no, that, you know. Well, the jelly people, you're almost like cause jelly because yeah, maybe yeah. peanut butter seems like it came first yeah, you're over kinda jelly. Kissing, you're kind of kissing up to them. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you think jelly's? Yeah, you know that's where the even though you are, you're like peanut butter would be like we're the staple, we're true to what we are. Yeah. And then jelly, you're like I don't love jelly. I think jelly's flashy and all this other stuff, but they're moving. Yeah. Right. They're, it's yeah. the future. Yeah. So it's either. Be friends with them or don't yeah, get, get out board. of the game. Yeah, yeah, get out of the game. Get you're you're the not going to change the game. You're not going to change the game. You, if you met a guy that's Jelly's the future? Yeah. If you well, know Jelly some, was, it changed, it changed it everything. Did, it yeah, did. It changed the game. Pe- it I would imagine peanut butter was first and it was like, you know, it, it's good. Oh, it's yeah. like, not, is that all right? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, God, they make you really study when you sell peanut butter, huh? Yeah, I mean, and, you know, mm-hmm. you people just, ask these questions. You don't just don't go selling it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You know what's happening. Right, right. Yeah. You show up at somebody's doorstep, you better know your stuff. Yeah, I think nowadays not, there was no doorstep. I know. Man. I yeah, know. <laughs> it wasn't. It was like, it wasn't it was in Girl Scout cookies yeah. or something, man. Or the, yeah. Encyclopedias. Yeah. Peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, tie, I had big accounts. Big Aaron. accounts. You tie the horse up to the thing. You I had walk like inside Kroger. You know, like I, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. All right. Okay. Wow. All right. All right. God. My bad, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I'm sorry. You're kind of belittling what I did. You got to talk <laughs> Kroger into buying peanut butter. They were an anti peanut butter. Go ahead. No, no. Now you sound like my dad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> who was like, uh, he, you know, I always had a hard time explaining the job. It was a good job. Yeah. It was like, a, you know, paid a lot and it was a competitive job to get. But my dad was like, well, you know, you're, you're not, you're not really in sales. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. You know, he's like, well, I've been going to the grocery store for, 60 years and they've always had Jif peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. What do they need you for? I'm like, ah, it's not about, it's not about like whether they carry it yeah. or not. It's about how much they sell to their consumer. And there's all kinds of things, dials and switches yeah. I can move to help them sell more. And he'd still be like, yeah, yeah, you're not in sales. You, you like know. the display and such. Display's a big display. Well, in shelf sales. placement. Shelf placement is another. Yeah. Shelf placement is another. You want to um, be eye level? You'd like to be eye level. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like to be <laughs> you like to have a block. Uh, you'd like to have a real nice block. I don't know why that's funny, Nate. I'm telling it you, is. this is important yeah. stuff here. You know, no, he said you'd like to be. Yeah, like, like you're just be. such a serious. Like if I, I felt like I was interviewing to be a peanut. I go, so we want to be eye level. You like to be. Don't, yeah, I, don't expect to be eye level. You don't just walk in there and be eye level. You just walk in and say you're eye level. 
Yeah, now, I mean, yeah, you're a new kid on the block. Don't think you're going to – they're going to try to throw you, you at the show bottom. up the first day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I saw it in a lot of different places. I yeah. mean, Jif, we were we were brand leader usually. We yeah. were – if you walk into a store today and you see Jif on the bottom shelf, somebody did something to make somebody angry. Yeah, okay? interesting. Yeah, now uh, Pringles – that was a whole, we were, you know. You sold Pringles too. Yeah, yeah, I sold Pringles. So you got out of peanut butter. No, no, we, I, 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 I was saying they were the same, same company. company. I, sold, yeah. I sold Pringles, Jif, Duncan Hines. Well, is Pringles I mean, considered a, a potato chip? It is. You're selling very easy. You're selling things that it's are. It's not easy, Nate. I mean, not, these are, I'm, I'm, I think I'm on your dad's team. I know. It's, you're selling stuff that's like, I don't know. You're I like, swear I went through this. The things that I have to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went through this, but I was like, that's like being like you're selling cocaine. No, you're it's, like, it's, it's, it goes pretty good. People really <laughs> like it. No. And you go, oh, is it hard to do? No, it's but there's a, I had competitors. You go up against Skippy and see how well you do. All right. <laughs> Jif is the main. Jif is the main. It one. is the main, but it got there through guys like him. me. <laughs> Foods on the ground. Foods on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Shoe leather yeah. and knuckles. And now right. we know who to thank. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I, I started Jif is spelled with a G. <laughs> Let's go, folks. Uh, well, welcome, everybody. Thanks for listening to this. I uh, uh, This is the 100th episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Uh, did I you did, think we'd make it? To 100? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I thought of it. You didn't think we'd make it. Yeah. <laughs> Brian and I. Yeah. <laughs> you knew you'd get here. When I look at both of y'all, I think, golly, how did y'all <laughs> slip by me for 100 episodes? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't know if I, uh, no, I mean, I thought, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I thought when we started it, but it's, you know, I mean, every time I go to shows, people come up, they listen to it. They love it. I, it's, it is fun to do. Uh, so it's great. And I, I love that. I mean, I love how much people are listening to it. And so it's fun. hundred yeah. episodes. Yeah. So with a hundred episodes, uh, we, we are going to change up something a little bit uh. and, uh, yeah, Bates. Here you go. You move up to my role, Bates. I'm in your role. Let's switch. Yeah. People voted and they wanted more Brian. Uh, so uh, we're gonna change it up, and we're adding a fourth uh, co-host. Oh man! So Ooh. it'll be four of us. I know people. You know, we've mentioned stuff like that. I think it's fun. I'm excited about it. Uh, it's just another comic, another someone that's funny that uh, f- I think fits very well with us. Uh, I believe we have him blurred out right now. <laughs> and if, uh, <clears throat> I mean, if you're at home, you're trying to guess, you can pause it. If you want to pause it and try to <laughs> take a shot. I mean, you think they could, I, mean, yeah, I don't know. Who are going to guess? He's appeared Aaron, on the show before. Aaron, do you want to take a guess? Would the, you have any idea? Yeah, I got he's a blurred, pretty, pretty good clue. Well, he's blurred out, Aaron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how could you see him? Uh, can I guess? You, t- why did you, you, you took that like it was a real beating. I thought you were, I thought we were going to go play long. And then <laughs> you made it sound like I really just yelled oh, at you. Oh, yeah. There was a cower over here yeah. in the corner. You go, I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad, dude. Yeah. Huh? Can I guess? Yeah. I- I'm going to say it's the guy that used to work with your sister, who's the Bigfoot expert. He is. It is. <laughs> we brought him in. Cause he was great. He was amazing. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Nate Land. Dusty Slick. All right. Ah. All right. We're having a good time. (laughs) Having a good time. (laughs) Wow, that buildup really had me. You know what I mean? Like, I I was more nervous about that buildup than going on shows. Yeah. Well, we're, look, I think uh, uh, we're big fans, obviously, Mm -hmm. and I think you fit well with us. Uh, You grew up poorer than all of us, which is nice. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, bring in a real poor aspect to this. Yeah, a lot yeah. of money floating around this yeah. table. Yeah. Well, we we didn't have money. Aaron comes from a pretty mm-hmm. wealthy family. That's right. Yeah, big he, time. he comes from royals. Yes. And then, but so we, me and Bates wanted to fill, we wanted to be able to punch down. And we were like, well, who could we get? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dusty was in a trailer park. That's right. I brought food stamps with yeah. me this time around <laughs> just to pass out, just so you knew what they looked like. That's how we're paying them. And then... With Galaxy, so we're the Milky Way. Mm-hmm. We're named after that candy bar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then that's what they'll have at that wedding. Yeah, yeah, Milky Way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would we be named after a candy bar? You know, doesn't make a lot it of sense. To me. The, it's better than Baby Ruth. Yeah, but I, yeah. I wish it be. It should get its own thing. Yeah, you know, right. Kit Kat. 
<laughs> yeah. When did the Milky Way get? It got named after the. When did we call it the Milky Way? I'd Why like did they call the, it the Milky Way? I'd like to. It be looks the like Milky Butterfinger Galaxy. That'd be a lot yeah. of fun. <laughs> Because you know what's on the outside, but you don't really know what's on the inside. The Milky Way candy bar was created in 1923. Yeah. Uh, the ta- name and taste derived from a then popular malted milk drink of the day, not after the astronomical galaxy. So when did we start calling it the Milky Way? Yeah. So we did name the galaxy after the candy bar. Well. Yeah. We might have. Uh, uh, the term was actually used uh, 2,500 <laughs> years ago. So we've a little been, bit earlier. We've been calling yeah. the galaxy the Milky Way a little longer than the candy bar. But I think I ca- saying that you named the candy bar after a milkshake seems a little <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> they shouldn't let them do it just because you're like, man, you're kind of just ruining what we're doing with space. Yeah. It really like takes the kind of steam out of it mm-hmm. when you, you know, it's like, it's also a candy bar. Yeah. That's how s- little serious we take it. Is we're naming it as, and it's not even one of our g- real great ones. Oh, golly, <laughs> You think a Milky Way is that good? Oh, my God. Oh, man, you hit a button there. Start this podcast really over, did. man. You think Whoa. a Milky Way is. Milky Way is, uh, man. The number one, in my opinion. Oh, oh no right. way. Dude. I enjoy a Milky Way, but number one. Number I don't, I don't one. Know. No, oh man, look, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I've even had one saying all this. Oh, but that's dude. how. I mean, it's, <laughs> over Snickers, dude? It's like a weak Snickers. It's yeah, like Snickers over with Snickers. no peanuts. Yeah. It's like a weak it's, it's, sneak, dude, Snickers. Dude, a Snickers. Yeah, I'm not trying to eat a meal of a candy bar, dude. I want a Milky Way. <laughs> it's just nice and smooth. Got caramel, chocolate. It's the right texture. It's the right size. Ah. It's everything you need. It's everything what was you first, want. Snickers or Milky Way? I, like, I, didn't, I, I don't think I've ever had a Milky Way, may, or, you know. I, I but I people people the Snickers galaxy. get rid of them. Yeah, like it's the your favorite fun size. Yeah, it's your yeah, favorite like, one. It's my favorite one, and I don't even think yeah. it's close. Uh, uh, more than a Reese's. Uh, Snickers came after the Milky Way. The Milky Way paved the way, dude. Milky <coughs> Way walked so Snickers could. It's run. the most unoriginal thing that you named it after the. Oh, do you want to eat, eat my Moon Skittles? <laughs> Why don't you come up with your own name? That's not. You know, you can't. Snickers is a great like. That's a oh. that's a name that's made up. I'm just shocked at the reaction that Aaron. Hey, has Hey, would you like a Jupiter? It tastes like banana. Like you're. <laughs> I've never seen Aaron so fired up my whole life. I've oh, never man. seen someone even scared think me. about Milky Ways like that. I love a Milky Way. I man. mean, I need to try one. You're gonna play Augusta. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that you'll finally play the probably the nicest golf course in America, right? Yeah. And you'll meet, you're going to meet Jerry Seinfeld and get to know him and have his number and become friends with him. Oh, man. That was a big, how exciting (laughs) would that be? Um, I did talk to Seinfeld. Well, I have talked to him. There it is. Big time. Uh, Who predicted this? One of Bates' big predictions. predictions Uh, Was uh, I talked, it was very crazy. I talked to Seinfeld, uh, FaceTimed, uh, and it, it was surreal. Like, it was like, it was not super long. It was quick. Uh, I have his phone number. I was very excited about that. Uh, Can I have it? Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll post it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was crazy. I mean, just seeing him, like, just it's unreal to like you're just looking at him and you're like, God, it's, it's you, dude. I don't know. It's you. That's amazing. And he was, uh, yeah, he was very complimentary, very nice, <clears throat> and something. And I think I did say, I was like, well, I won't bore you what I said. I, uh, I was like, I won't overwhelm you with like what you've meant to my career. I did that go, but I don't wear short sleeves on stage because of you. <laughs> like, that's all. And he like laughed at that. It's like, that's how much this dude's like, I'm not wearing short sleeves on stage because you said it looked weird yeah. in a commentary on your DVD. Not even, <laughs> not even like that's what he lives by. Right. It's just like an all, and I, he might even wear shorts. It might be such a side comment that he doesn't even remember it. And you're like, and I don't. And it wear changed it. your life, though. It changed everything. Yeah. We have these bells too. We we bought bells. You walk around the bell, and it like rings a little bit, wow. and then a bear bell. And so it's like enough to like so the bear would hear you. Then because the bear doesn't want to meet you, but it's like if you walk up on it. It's that's when you can get in trouble. The bell thing, though, we wore it the first day, and no one else had a bell, and I felt so stupid <laughs> yeah. as we're walking by these people like ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and then I looked it up, and people were like, "Yeah, those don't, 
you know, because it's like they're not loud enough. Like the bear's uh, hearing is like our hearing, I think. And so it's like, you know, I don't know. It's like maybe it would work and it's not, you could do it, but it's, if you, I mean, we're walking by children without bells. <laughs> and so I was like, all right. We were yelling "Hey Bear" so much, and you just go "Hey Bear." Just a group of family of four walks by. You're like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, "Thought you were a bear." Yeah. Uh, Paul D. I think "Hey Bear" should be the response to "Hello, folks." I like that. Yeah, that's fun. You know, the last podcast I started with "Hey Bear." Yeah, I love a nice "Hey Bear." Yeah. "Hey Bear." A lady that gave me candy wrote a note, and it said "Hey Bear." Yeah. To me, I like "Hey Bear." Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Could be good. Is hello, folks. I mean, like, uh, yeah, it's like, hey, bear. So, you know, because I do hello, folks, and I do let's go, folks, when we start the podcast. Yeah, maybe let's go, bears. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that's, uh, that sounds like Jay Cutler. Uh, <laughs> hey, bear. Yeah. Hey, bear just got to pop in whenever. Yeah. Hey, bear feels like it's one that uh, it pops in. We were doing it on the trip, and they're, they're very funny to pop in. Hey, bear. Yeah. Like, just throwing in a nice hey, bear. Out of nowhere. Hmm. Yeah. You know, and if you're hiking and you do a hay bear and someone gives you a hello folks back, yeah, then you know oh, what's happening. Right. That's, yeah. You know what's going on. Yeah. Hello folks. Yeah. Hey bear. Hey, that is a pretty, even let's go, for, like it is funny if someone goes, hello folks, hey bear. And then see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because then people will be very confused <laughs> yeah. on that. That could be, it could, it. Y- y'all can, you know, <laughs> I like it. I like the, you know, I like the less, I like people, you know, I would, I'll talk to Harper and I was, we were talking about hello folks and let's go folks. And we said, what, I was like, what are you? And she said, she thinks she's more let's go folks. But I like that there is a hello folks and let's go. Like there is a, it is like, I, you know, I met someone uh, in Paso and I met and they were, you know, fewer hello folks. And then one's like, I'm a let's go folks. And it is like, you're like, you kind of get who the person is. Yeah. And that, I do like that. But I do like Hey Bear. Hey Bear. All right. Uh, <laughs> hello, folks, and Hey Bear. I, I like Hey Bear now. I got Hey Bear all, all weekend for yeah. people. It's fun. Hey Bear is great. Uh, it's it's like, uh, it is the good, re- I think I, someone said it in the, in the comments. It's the best response. The let's go, folks. Like, hey, if you say hello, folks, you go, Hey Bear, because it's such an opposite that it does. So I I, I agree. I guess if we take a vote. The vote was hay bear. We didn't take a vote. <laughs> I've been uh, getting some hay bear too, and I think I like when like if a if a lady says hay bear to me, I'm like my wife is going to be upset about yeah. this. Like yeah. people come up, they go hay bear, and I'm like oh, I don't know if that's yeah. okay. <laughs> it sounds like you're already in another relationship so much that y'all have nicknames <laughs> for each other. Yeah, right, <laughs> like, right. She's like it can't even be like oh did y'all just meet? You're like we've been dating for five to six <laughs> years, and she calls me bear, and I go hay bear. They did a uh, survey a few months ago of Americans to see what animals would win in a fight and what animals humans could beat in a fight. And um, if you could pull that up. Yeah. Um, 6% of American men said they could beat a grizzly bear in a fight, which so, is ridiculous. I imagine these are big dudes, though, yeah. that would say that. Yeah, but still, come on. Mm-mm-mm. Just juke it. Well, what about mean, uh, like a Brock Lesnar type? You don't think Brock yeah. Lesnar could take a, a grizzly bear? I looked up a like fight? could an MMA fighter like choke a bear out or just anything? And they're like, no, it would be over just like that. Uh, but people uh, have done it before. Yeah, people have fought off bears. Yeah. Well, they fought off. They didn't win a fight. Did I'd they? say the if bear you, left. I mean, I saw the Revenant. That's based on a true story. Bye, Bear. He had a gun and a knife. <laughs> you remember the old uh, Tank Abbott uh, yeah. MMA guy? I think yeah. if he yeah. got a couple of punches to the face of the grizzly bear, I think yeah. he'd take it. Well, Khabib Tank wrestled bears, Abbott. right? He, when he was a kid, Khabib would wrestle bears. Uh, yeah, they're big dudes. Yeah, I'd take this guy over a bear. Yeah. It's it's the it's the idea that so your, menta- your brains come into what? it. Are what? you serious? Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah, people have killed bears yeah. before. So your your uh, your smartness comes into play too. So that's that's used as your advantage. You're talking about pure strength. No, no, no humans are strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about like just straight up. They walk in and it's like here we go, and you just got to be smarter than the bear. You trip it. 
Yeah. Falls down. But, you know how hard yeah. it is for a bear to get back up. Imagine it's not easy. a bear comes and attacks a guy like Butterbean. Yeah, you and got, got Butterbean, Butterbean pulled up. Starts I, whacking him. He's like, whoa, whoa! I didn't yeah. see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, the last guy I attacked just laid down on the ground and played dead. I think a lot of stuff will have to go right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> to say the least. But, you know. I mean, like, what about, like... Uh, I think 6% is a good, a good amount. I would, like, that's a good amount that said they could do it. You're yeah. like... Yeah, yeah okay. I believe those 6%. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I believe those 6 and you could talk me that it's only 4 and there's 2% that's just, where well, you're a lunatic. What about, like... And then there's a 4% that you're like, all right. Now that, if you could scroll down a little bit further, it'll show, like, what animals... That's what... Uh, you, you could beat. I love the first. Oh, oh, a rat. Twenty eight percent that feel like they can't take out a rat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. might be one of those twenty eight. Yeah, yeah. House cat, a goose, sixty one percent. Goose are goose are tricky. Yeah. yeah, they're mean. They're mean. I got boxed out by some geese on a hike in Bristol, Tennessee. This little narrow passageway. This goose just stood there in the middle and just wouldn't let me pass. And it took like twenty minutes. They're scary, dude. The thing yeah. about a lot of these animals is I, you, you can't just go around kicking a goose. Like if you were down there on that trail and you that goose was coming at you and you kicked it, stomped that goose into the ground, and then some other hikers came, yeah. they'd be like, jeez, dude. <laughs> what if uh, – so I would think that you got to look at – you look at this list of animals. So yeah. that's – it goes uh, rat, house cat, goose – Medium sized dog, medium sized dog down to fifty percent. Think they could beat it. Eagle thirty, large dog twenty three, chimpanzee seventeen, king cobra fifteen. So now you get into the low ones. So you got to go. All right, where am I? Where am I getting nervous at? <laughs> uh, you know, large dog. You're like, all right, I think I could beat it. I think you got to look at like what animal am I comfortable charging? Mm -hmm. So who am I comfortable like grabbing and like charging? And you got to really be on man to man combat. And so you got the dog. The chimpanzee, I think, is tough because they're just so much, they're strong. Yeah. yeah. That if they, uh, and they have fingers and stuff. Right. Like you. So that's that's bad news. Yep. Uh, King Cobra, obviously, is just, I mean, I think you could beat it up. You'd have to get it by the tail and then sling it. But once you did that, it would be over. But I'd, it's. I charm it. I play music. You would. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, my uh, dad told me he knew charming. a guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Attacked by a fox recently. He was yeah. cleaning his pool and a fox came up. So and he said he the guy killed the fox. Yeah. But the fox was tearing him up. Yeah. Was biting his legs and yeah. just bit the guy up. Yeah. In the end, he won. <laughs> yeah. But he got eat up. Yeah, I think every animal is going it's gonna to be tough. I mean, even yeah. a rat would be hard because it's great. It's a matter of like you gotta think now. This is not a normal fight. This is this is a fight to the death. So you're thinking you're in a room, you can't leave the room. One of you, maybe not. Is it a fight to the fight to death? I don't. They know. don't specify to the death. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough to kill a grizzly bear with your bare hands. Well, as far as bear attacks, it basically said don't do what you suggested. Don't try to run from the bear, the grizzly bear that is. Um, they because no one's trying it. They said they can run as fast as a horse. Wow. We'll catch you. Uh, it doesn't. It, it just doesn't matter. It's uh, it's the mm, mm. it's the juice. Hey, Shake and bake. Barry Sanders it. could evade a grizzly bear. Yeah, I bet so. I bet Barry prime. Sanders yeah. could tackle a grizzly bear. Well, he's a running back. Now, if you but, get, but yeah. you tell me though, he couldn't tackle it. You tell me Barry Sanders couldn't tackle it. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> come on. You sound like a guy. I feel like you slurred that. Too. Yeah. Like, yeah. It did. You sound like an old drunk Dusty. Yeah. Like, you tell me best. You tell me best. Best Sanders. Sanders. You said Barry Sanders can't do tackle bugger, and you're like Dusty. I got. Are you driving? Did you? <laughs> Barry Sanders. <laughs> You're gonna look me in the <laughs> face. You sound Cajun. Right now in the face, you're gonna look me in the eyes face and say, Bear Sanders. Bear Sanders, I can't tell you. Bear Sanders, I can't take a good bear. Bear Sanders, can't take a good bear. Is that what you're gonna tell me, right? Like, all right, Dusty. All right, bud. Guys, this guy, something's wrong with him. Coley, Coley Escher. Coley Escher. 
Dusty did a fantastic job at the Palm, uh, Palm Beach Improv this weekend, but I was at the show where audience members kept interrupting with Yee Yee. Oh, I forgot all about Yee Yee. Yeah. It's, oh, man, what a wild show. It's been a while since you guys shared any tidbits about how the sausage is made. So could you share some experiences with Outburst from the audience and how you choose to handle them? Dusty, you incorporated it really well, but I felt bad for the flow of your jokes because it kept happening before your punchline. Well, I mean, I do so many shows that that was a blast to me. <laughs> I was like, I've not, I mean, like I wanted to do yee yee. I can't even do it well. Yee yee. I'm <laughs> hoarse, I feel like, but I used to, I mean, that show was so fun. Like somebody yelled out yee yee. I had never really heard yee yee before. And I just, it felt like every punchline I could work a yee yee in there. Yeah. And the audience loved it. I mean, a couple uh, of times I got interrupted. Uh, by people yelling it out, but I had a blast. So you did it most of the time. Well, after the initial, and then a couple people, I mean, there was one time when I was doing a joke and someone interrupted the joke by doing it, but it it worked. Yeah. I even complimented them on it. I was like, that was a well-timed yee yee. I mean, it was so fun. It was one of the most fun shows I've had in a long time. I mean. So you encourage more of this during the show. <laughs> I mean, I don't want it to happen all the shows, but yeah, that particular show, I was like, let's keep this going. I felt into good. this, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Did, and did someone just yell Yee Yee and that's how I, it got started? Well, I said, um, I, you know, I got a, some jokes about country music and I was like, I'm a big fan of country music. And some people clapped and cheered and then somebody goes, Yee Yee. And I guess that's a country thing that people do. Uh, I had not heard it. I'm, a, I'm familiar with Yee Haw. Yeah. But not a lot of Yee Yees. I've never heard Yee Yee. And so that's what I talked about, how I didn't really, I wasn't really familiar with Yee Yee. So, and then I just kept bringing it back. And I mean, it was a hit. All right. I mean, Coley Escher enjoyed the show. <laughs> yeah. Felt bad for me, but don't feel bad for me. We had a great time. Yeah. We had a great time. Yeah. You had a great time. Uh, supposedly, I don't know for sure, but someone told me afterwards that I think that it could have been a fight that broke out. You know, I got an <clears throat> email this morning from someone who said, was it the late show? Yeah. They apologized because they said, um, his wife, uh, her hair, I guess was hanging over the seat, the yeah. guy behind him and the guy put his knee on her hair, like, you know, to pin it against the chair. Yeah. And they got into a, uh, not a fist fight, but they got in a big argument. Yeah. Is that yeah. That's what I heard. So I sat in the second show. I watched the whole thing. It was awesome to just Thanks. sit in the crowd and yeah. watch. And I had a real out of character moment. The guy in front of me, he, every joke you did, he would turn to his side and be like, that's I would do that. Yeah. Like relating to all your jokes, but in an annoying way. Yeah. And I had a really out of character moment. I lean forward, I grab the dude on the shoulder, and I go, enough. Whoa. Wow. wow. And Maybe it, that's what you heard. It Maybe felt, that it felt awesome. Wow. Did his but, wife have long hair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aaron. Is this what we're getting to? It was you. I, I said enough, dude. And yeah. then I leaned back and I thought about the whole show. You know? Yeah. Right when the show ended, I go, hey, sorry about that, man. He was like, no, it's fine. I he, told he you Arizona's wild. Yeah, it's but, too hot. It's just too hot out there. And there's not enough humidity. You need some. <laughs> but I've never I confronted anybody in a yeah. moment like that. Do you I think that felt... guy even knew what you meant by enough? <laughs> I don't oh, think he, I know. He yeah. heard the tone in my voice. He knew what was going on. He knew he was misbehaving. So he's relating to Nate's comedy and having a good time, and you <laughs> told him to stop. But, but you know, thousands of other people were doing that without – conversing yeah. about it right after the joke uh we needed you in the audience of the shows we did in arizona <laughs> yeah, yeah probably <laughs> there uh i would like i had aaron walk around just <laughs> if, if people and they laugh too how loud not high enough right he just he would just keep them kind of at bay if they weren't really laughing he's like not enough not enough <laughs> not up, enough up, <laughs> up, up, up. and then if they and if they start laughing too loud, i go what are we doing Aaron and if just grabs his shoulder. Hey, what are we doing? And if their hair was That's too enough. long, he would just pin it to the chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you never called 911 before? Not that I may. I feel like maybe once. For me? Uh, yeah. No, may, I feel like maybe once. I think I've had an accident, maybe. Yeah. Like an accidentally called. Have you called it? Yeah, I've called before. How many times? <laughs> a bunch. Probably four or five times now that I think about it. What are you doing? <laughs> no, if I just see a car, if I see a car accident or- Your gout uh, flares up? I've been in a few accidents where I have to, you're supposed to call 911 and tell them if you're on the side four of the road. Four or five times. Probably like, four or five times. I've maybe. called so many times. Well- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's a trailer park. <laughs> I mean, that's like that's like number three on the speed. Dial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You I call that with one to go. Hey, Dustin. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it goes your it goes your grandmother, mom, nine one one. That's your speed dial. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like that's yeah. I mean, uh, just all the time. Like how uh, you know, you see a fire, you're like, well, I'll call. It's like a fun. <laughs> it's fun to be the one that calls. Where do you see a fire at? Just people's houses. Yeah. You know, I mean, like just driving a house is on fire one time. We called 911 and it's a lot of fun. Just making know? sure y'all heard about my it. My sister is diabetic. Have you diabetic. honestly called it a lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My sister is real diabetic. She used to go into these like uh, weird kind of diabetic trances or yeah. whatever. And we would call, you know, we would have to call that 911. The like, ambulance to come and like trans, <laughs> yeah. give her some glucose. I've met a guy. She's on one of her, <laughs> but she's just you know she's, she's on be, her diabetes dance right now. <laughs> she'd just be sitting there like staring, like, like staring off into space, and you couldn't get her to do anything. Like, right. well, Margaret, <laughs> Margaret, <laughs> call nine or one one. I is dusty. She doing her dance. <laughs> she doing her long yeah. stare. <laughs> She's back at it. Yeah. She's back at yeah, it. Yeah, she would. You know. uh, she had a cup of M and M's. Set her off. <laughs> like I got a walk. I got a trail stick. Yeah, a little compass on the top. On stage? No, no, just you know. Oh. Did you say compass? Yeah, a little compass on the top. Not compass. Yeah, C O. Comp. That is how it's spelled. You I've go, never you heard it pronounced compass? that way though. You yeah, compass. compass? Uh, not you guys. I think the world. Yeah, oh, but uh, that's how you say it. Compass. 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 Well, he does. Yeah. I like to do. He's a compass. always a little. He's a little. <laughs> yeah, that's Lebanon for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a little. They, yeah, we're re- we're related. They do their own yeah. thing. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Compass. Compass. Yeah. There's no. I don't think people. Compass. If you were, if you were standing with a man that had only a compass in his hand, and you said, "Hand me that compass," I don't think he would guess what to do. <laughs> I think he would be confused and go, "What?" And then you would be the compass, and you would have to point at it. And then it never would be talked about. And y'all would just leave. And he would be like, God, am I crazy? Am I saying this wrong? And then would maybe start saying compass personally in his own life until he got ridiculed. And then. Yeah, I mean, I've compass. this is the first I've encountered it. I don't say compass a lot out in the world, but this is the mm-hmm. first I've come across it. Compass. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. That's like, it would, it would, yeah. I, I mean, I've just never heard it. Like, I'm not saying I'm right or what wrong. What about the or word whatever. complain? I guess that's CU. Kind yeah, of CU. complain. Com, com, not a complain. Yeah. Why are you complaining, complaining all the time? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Why are you complaining? What's another one? Com, uh, Comcast. We don't do com, com, come, com, on, com, come on over com here. Cast. Yeah, com, just the you word say come over here. But that's got an E at the end. Okay. That's why I think the E makes it. All right. Gives I it got a you. Oh, yeah. Com, this is a language episode, I believe. Yeah. Ben Meehan, Ben Meehan, Mahan, Meehan. I recently convinced my wife to start listening to the podcast, and she happened to be watching the Malls episode this morning. I overheard Aaron getting sappy about how Malls bring everyone together, yada, yada, yada. I knew it sounded familiar. I think what's still appealing about a mall is there's no other place in American life where there's just a cross-section <laughs> all different types of people are in there. I don't know if there's another place where you go and you just see people all different background races. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's America. Because everybody, everybody has to stop there. I think that's still... It cool. looks... Yeah. Wow. Hey, I mean, it's word for word almost. It, where, it's unbelievable. Some of these drinks should float. Some of them should not. You guys want to guess... Before we do it, I'm betting diet floats. Uh, I'm trying to think what I've dropped mm. in a lake before. Uh, <laughs> and if you look at I the think cans, diet, I think diet floats. If you look at the cans, they're all the same size. So same if you're size. listening, what we've got on the table here is a tub full of water, and in front of it, we've got four different caffeinated beverages. A Pepsi, Not necessarily a caffeinated, Coca Cola, carbonated. Diet Coke, Coke Zero, regular Coke, and then a Pepsi Wild Cherry. Pepsi Wild. I meant cherry. to get regular. Pepsi, but I grabbed it too fast. So I yeah. don't know. Wild cherry might be a variable, but do uh, you want to try it, Nate? I yeah. do enjoy a wild cherry Pepsi. Now, mm-hmm. I think that the, the Coke Zero and the Diet Coke are yeah. completely suspended in there. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Okay. The Coke, regular Coke, oh, yeah, is, they are. is Dragon. 
That's, so that's, if that's kind of floating. A if the bit. bucket were deeper, we'd get. Well, they're a, all floating. A better illustration of this, but yeah. So Brian, why does the diet float in the? Because it doesn't have sugar. Sugar is denser than water, so regular soft drinks are denser than water, but diet drinks are less dense than water, so therefore they float. I mean, <laughs> physics episode, and that's going to be the end. Of it. <laughs> that what we're in. We saved up for that. You know what it is? It's the sugar inside of it. Well, this was the physics for kids experiment that they gave us. <laughs> yeah. This is how All they're right. teaching the kids, and then when the experiment's this over, is they like go, OJ, crack these open. Drink I mean, up. I'm not saying I knew that. It's like OJ with but the glove, trying it, it just, on without trying. I always remember, people are listening. <laughs> uh, I'm Nate, uh, Senator Aaron Weber, Dusty Slay, All right. and... <laughs> <laughs> Another <laughs> dusty slip. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. We're having a good All time. Right. Having a good time. Uh, we could use more of this. Ash, the sheriff hat. Where'd you get that hat? This is, uh, it's not easy being dusty. I'll, I've learned that. Yeah. The hat is, uh, Terry, I can't even talk with this thing. <laughs> Hang on. The hat is my second cousin, Terry Ash. He was the sheriff in Wilson County for about 20 years. Wow. Oh, that's a good hat. From, from the mid-80s to the mid-2000s. So <laughs> the hat was the easiest part. Yeah. Uh, this beard riding up on my mouth here is the hard part. <laughs> yeah, beard. It's, it's tough. The hair, uh, I had a brown wig, but it was like a glam rock too long. Yeah. I wish I'd have kept it. So I, my wife convinced me to take it back. You kind of got the opposite color thing going. I got the darker beard and the lighter hair. Yeah, which is the I think good. Yeah, I think it's a nice. Uh, yeah, a little yeah mismatch here. Yeah, kind of yeah kind of works like well. A, yeah. So I took it back. My wife convinced me to take it back and get a shorter shorter. How much money that save you taking it back? Wig. It, it saved me two fifty. Okay, this looks okay. good on you. And uh, I mean, I'm into this look. The glasses were the hard part. I texted Dusty and I said, "Hey, where do you get your glasses?" He said, "At a thrift store." So <laughs> I got my others at a thrift store. Yeah, I went I to uh, just put in there. went to Goodwill. <clears throat> Didn't have glasses. Got the shirt at Goodwill. Yeah, and then I went to another thrift store. Could not find the glasses. Had to order these online. It's the best I could do. How so. much total all in? About a hundred dollars. Oh, oh wow. really? Wow, <laughs> that's about right. That's about right. Hundred dollars for the whole. Yeah. The glasses were like thirty something just for the shipping. The shirt was five. You save the money by just getting a haircut once or twice a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of savings comes in there. Yeah. I'm saying okay. Yeah. So are you going to ask Nate to make a pitch for Nashville? Well, 2026 is out, but yeah. maybe a future 2030. You know, I mean, yeah, if they were, come back that, that quick, I mean, we're in trouble. Like, if well, you pitch well enough, it's already a bad start to this pitch. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, let's say you were sent to represent Nashville. Well, I think when we FIFA. go to all of uh, us, yeah, we should all go. When we go, uh, give us the World Cup in 2030, or you will be embarrassed. You have 24 <laughs> yeah. hours. Nashville, <laughs> a place you can drink. Yeah. Oh. Have you seen Broadway? <laughs> <laughs> give us the World Cup. We won it on an off year. You've been warm. And 24 in, hours. I'll give you 40 hours to respond. <laughs> yeah, until sundown. Yeah, until sundown. I need an answer now. Or we're going to move on and we're going to get the. We'll tour get the to tour France. to France. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to go to the tour to France and go, hi. And they were going to. Y'all running this bike race in France. No one cares. <laughs> Come do it in America, Nashville. You can either be with us or you can compete with us. You have 24 hours. <laughs> and I'll go to every every big sporting event. Just you keep just threatening go, them. You just keep threatening every every one of them. You know, I don't know what other other – yeah. Yeah, I don't know what other sports are. But pickleball. <laughs> pickleball championship. I'm Nate Bergens. Bring it here he or goes, die. Yeah. We like pickleball, kind of, mm -hmm. but I feel like we're going to love it. So either be here <laughs> now and grow it with us yep. uh -huh. or be our competition. Well, there are you have 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a big day tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow there's a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of phone calls got, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm making everybody crack your knuckles. We're going to be getting some responses to some emails. Uh, all right. We love you all, and uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we will see you the first week of January. All right. Bye.